After pouring my heart and soul out to the girls, I needed to unwind. After, you know, Tammy gave her spiel, Shawnee's like, you need to go outside and talk to her. And I'm thinking to myself, now is totally not the right time. I'm thinking, did Shawnee tell her something? I just knew she was smoking a cigarette and she looked like she was upset, so I was like, oh, hell, she knows. I, obviously, we don't even, we don't know each other that long, mm -hmm. right? We're just all getting to know each other. And I had no idea that you were gonna come into this world in, like, about 1999, me and your ex-husband dated. And we dated for like maybe, I would say roughly six months. Did you so, him? We did. We did. I'm not gonna lie, twice. I'm gonna keep it real. We did, because I'm not gonna lie and have some bite me in the ass. What you did was you just made me look stupid. No, I didn't make you look stupid. First no, of all, I don't even know you like that. You, you made me look stupid. In this, you coming in this circle as her friend, like, how am I gonna say something like that? You my man when I was married to him. You just say that. I didn't know you was married to him. It's not a mother on this planet that didn't know that Kenny Anderson was married. I didn't. I don't give a, I don't give a I didn't. It's not, it's not a bitch walking, a hoe walking, a trick walking, a jump off walking that didn't know that he was married. It's bitches that know that is married, that still with them. Right. That And I've been in that position. OK, but then you should understand okay. how the I feel. It really makes me wonder if the entire time that we've been hanging out and chilling and talking and getting to know each other, was it real or was it like some fraudulent bull? Because I'm, I'm going to keep it real with you right now. It's all that I can do because I have grown to like you and I have grown to feel close to you. It's all that I could do right now to keep from punching you in your face. That is shady. Wait, why is it shady? shady? Because you knew. I, I didn't know. I did but know. You I knew. did know, but I'm trying to go. Okay. When the was you going to tell me? Believe you me, I was going to tell you. I was just thinking to myself, this is just bad. It is what it is. Like, that everybody. So well, I, and that's not how I see it. That's not how I see it. that's how I see it. But this is what I'm saying. The bitches that twomp, you're not friends with them. We trying to build a friendship. We trying to build some And for you to just be sitting, smiling in my face, laughing, cackling, cack, cack, he, 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 that's up to me. That's well, up to and me. And you know what? It is what it is. And, and just like you want to swear on your baby's life, I swear on my daughter's life that nobody even knew who you were. Like, I wasn't starting because who Kenny was, was with. Boston? Everybody Exactly. Knew you think I, like, researched who dude was with? It was like you didn't even exist. I'm certainly not going to let you sleeping with him mean something to me. That wasn't the issue. You're missing the point of what the I'm saying. I'm saying. No. Let's you are a non mother fact, the bitch. You're gonna tell me that you slept with my ex-husband and that I was obsolete, that I didn't matter. That is disrespectful. Let that bitch go! I have never in my 40 years of being on this earth allowed anyone to disrespect me. That bitch should have been honest. I felt that she had just displayed the ultimate form of betrayal in terms of what I thought our friendship was developing into. I thought everything was cool. I'm sitting up here saying nice things about her, trying to be cool with her, being a friend to her not disrespecting her. I mean, I I felt Tammy. I, I understood, like, where she was coming from. I understood both sides. Um, because it's like, I, I know how these guys operate. If I was smiling in your face and have your man and didn't tell you that that is foul.
I can't trust any of these bitches. That's really how I feel. Give me the loot, give me the loot. <laughs> I rented a suite for the night to have a party with the girls to celebrate my independence. What actually made you say enough is enough? Well, I mean, just realizing that, because I had to change me. So the first step is changing my circumstances. Changing That's your address. Changing my attitude. <laughs> Who that? The police, that obviously. Is? OK, <laughs> that knock sound kind of aggressive. Yeah. So we starting off aggressive? <laughs> Kimbella to Emily's party. I was told it was gonna be liquor and it was girls only. It's good enough for me. I'm celebrating <laughs> that I found a new place and I'm branching out on my own. Of course, y'all know I was in a relationship for nine years. I went through not being acknowledged and infidelities and disappointments. And I've always put other people before me. So I got my own place. I signed a lease. I, I got it. my keys. I love it. Who better than celebrate with my girlfriend? Ow! To new beginning, to independence, then these men better catch up or they gonna get left in the dust. That's right! Damn it, here's to Emily. Woo! I was shocked that she was finally taking the next step because she needs to take care of Emily. And she needs to stop worrying about him because he's clearly not worrying about her. I know in her heart that she loves him and she wants to be with him, but if he's not treating her right, then she's doing the right thing. But it doesn't make it less scary. Sometimes love is just not enough. You can mm -hmm. love someone so much that uh, it hurts. You know, I give her a hard time, but I agree. Yeah. It takes yeah. more love. You have to have a friendship. Mm -hmm. You have to have a whole lot of compassion, patience, trust, and all that stuff. Yep. Great. And you are really yeah. quiet over there, Miss Yeah. Kelly. I think it's a great move. And, yeah. you know, I'm here to listen mm -hmm. and get to know all of you, ultimately. Everybody's different, and all the men are different. And just because I might be going through something, that don't mean that, you know, every man in hip-hop or every rapper is the same, because they're all different. I'm happy that you're leaving him. I'm happy that you found your own, and you're coming into, you know, just being a woman as your own. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, just to let you know, like, you know, I dated Fab three years ago, and I just want to let you know that here and now. Mm -hmm. I don't know what else to say to mm -hmm. you. I don't know how else to present it I mean, it's it not a you. shocker. You look like the type. I mean, I mean, I don't know what that means, because what I'm saying to you is that it's, it's not, not surprising, it, because okay, that, you're one of many. Listen, mm -hmm. I don't want to just be around you and you mm -hmm. didn't know this. I'm letting you know as a woman, heart to heart, mm -hmm. that's what happened. Come on, bitch. Did you just do that? Did you just ask yourself out like that? You have no regard for what this girl has been through. I just thought it was just me. So you dated him three years ago, but right. my son is three years old. Right. So three years ago, I was pregnant. So that says a lot. It's good that you're telling me that now because I am moving on. Maybe three years ago, if you would have told me that, it would have hurt me. And that's not something that I agree with. And that's why I'm in the space that I'm in now. Right. Let them feel how they feel, but this is between me and you. You just telling me that makes me feel better that I'm in this place. Cheers to that. And again, Peace. I'm a real ass bitch. Yo, be be me talking and about your lady. Right. glasses. No, at right. the end of the day, I, okay. she but left her feeling. Maybe her intentions were good, but her outcome was just tasteless, heartless, and tacky. If somebody <laughs> you told you some <laughs> like that, <laughs> listen to me. It's ugly. But it uh, could, it's uh, not ugly. Uh, this, uh, is, this is not ugly. Pretty, it could have gotten pretty. ugly, but this is not ugly. Wait a minute, Kim, Kim, go ahead, Kim, explain yourself. On, how Kim, is she feeling? I'm not trying to have conflict with you. I'm not trying exactly. to. But if but you want it, it's Listen, him. listen, I brought all y'all. I could have took her to the side, and now you, Loud no, and what? Saying it's what ugly. is a problem? Listen, it's a problem. Not. This has nothing to do with Chrissy. I wanted to tell Emily so we can move forward, and this is not Chrissy's place to say anything. Let Emily tell me how she feels. Emily is not the most voice. She can't talk. She's a grown ass woman with a child. Because she doesn't talk up is why she's in this position. What happened with you, bitch? What happened? You tell me. Oh, now what happened? Yeah. Why are you feeling her? You wanna go there with me? You sure? Are you ready? Are you feeling her? Are you strapped in? What you wanna do? Is it your man 
you can come in there, you, you better get her. You better get her. You better get her now. Or else y'all both got to leave. I want my brother Bird to come up. I want you to cut the cake, man. Clap for my brother Bird, man. Let's get it. That's right, Hazel. I'm feeding cake to your man who was never your man. And stay tuned, because I have some more for you to eat tonight. I want to thank everybody for coming out tonight. I got one of my best friends in the world, Masika, with me, you know, and like, she's amazing. Masika, I love you. I love you too. Oh, baby. <laughs> okay, so last week, TT was Berg Boo. Now he's in love with Masika? Really? Is he gonna smash his way through all the bitches that have done me wrong? Whack ass. What up, TT? Hey, Masika. You're looking so lovely. Thank you. Hi. I just wanna say happy birthday to one of my. Very good friends, one of my closest friends. Um, we've been friends for a long time now, but tonight I am your date. Ooh. So, oh damn! Happy birthday, Bird! What's going on? So, although this is Bird's Ooh. birthday, he actually gave me a gift. So this is a record that he and I are doing. But for now, I just want to say, happy birthday, Bergie! <laughs> Love you, baby. Got me doing things, but I said I'm never good. Up. Got me going hey. in crazy old I'm about to literally, like, throw up in my mouth watching that display between Masika and Bird. But now I gotta stop and pause because this bitch finna sing a song? I know good damn well that bitch ain't finna sing on my record. Already know. We can set the OK, so I'm pissed the f off. We got one or two options. I'm either gonna bum rush that stage and tackle this hoe, or I'm gonna embarrass this bitch and let everybody know whose record that really belongs to. I've been a real one since day one. He got a hundred that. Had a hoe from here when the gold digging face way. Hey, how sad I wanna be with you. Huh. What is that? That's the way I hear. What's in my ear? This fake ass bitch Masika come to the studio as I'm pouring my heart out on this record. And this is how she repays me? So you didn't like my record, so you gave it to the bitch that you said don't holler at. That's one of my best friends. She's your best friend? Then? You tried to get violent with me, like you went crazy you on me. You got violent with me, you threw my bag all across the streets. I thought we were friends at the end of the day. I think our friendship went out the window okay. with your purse. You've you been go. betraying this whole thing, like me and you are something that we're Betrayed. totally not. It's what we me and you from. are not nothing. We were friends. We're not Stop fronting and stop frauding in these streets. You coming to my party with this type of energy? Like, you could at least dress in all white. Like, you could at least I could at least not give a fuck because you know well, that you I You could have stayed your ass at home. I'm here. God bless. So, God bless. Okay, God bless. I could go. I could go. God bless. Yeah, it means nothing. Do you get it now, Hazel? I'm here with another woman. I gave your song away, Hazel. All I want to do is pop bottles, go crazy, hang out with my baby, and not worry about basic ass like Hazel E. You are. I'm Angel Brinks. You? Who are you? I think Jackie just wants me to tell you that I slept with your baby father. No, I didn't want you to do what? that. This classless whore slept with my baby's father? January, February, March, whatever your name is, honey, he must have hit it on a really drunk night because you, boo-boo, are washed up. Not when you guys were together, but I mean, I'm trying to figure out what you're trying to get at, Jackie. Well, how did I get put in the middle of the mother? What so, you trying to get to? No. So you come to a party and just randomly bring up my baby's dad. Not at all. Jackie's over here. No, you're not. Oh my God, did I do that really? Oops. What happened? What's she going saying, on? She's saying she slept with my baby's daddy before I was with him. No, I didn't when we were together. With him. I don't even think I'm saying when we were not together. No, we're not together. So what's the problem? There is no problem. If there was a problem, I would have slapped you in your mother face. That's the problem. All right. Yes. And you said that you're like, what's your name? I gotta give my props to my girl, Angel Love, for trying to have Angel Brings back. It was like the sorriest girl, I got your back, I have ever seen. But you get an A for effort, I guess. <laughs> you purposely, you purposely. Hey, don't you dare, Angel. You purposely 
purposely my ass. Jackie did not purposely do anything. Jackie, you didn't say to me five minutes ago. I think we should put everything on the table because we yeah, like each other and we should tell her exactly. Exactly. Why do you try to her? She knows how I am. I don't know her. I just want to get a sharing. This matter. This matter just like the last one. I mean, are you happy about that? That you got the point? I'm not even trying to tell her. Child, it looks like the tea got spilled after all. So now I gotta step my ass in and clean it up before somebody break their neck. I did know because I did ask her what's going on. You know, did you sleep with Kenny? Did you sleep with Shaq? I didn't Why think it was issue. Because my feet are hurt. Oh. <laughs> That's the only reason I ever take them off. I never take them off to fight somebody. You can relay that. So the only reason why I asked you to come here was to see my daughter. Now, this whole other conversation that's happening right here, I did know about her and him. Oh, you did? I did know. However... Prior to tonight or to tonight? Prior to tonight. Okay. But she has slept with a lot of people. So I didn't think that it was a major situation with her because that's just her involved. Here I am trying to be a supportive friend to Tammy and her daughter, and you brought this dump here to tell me that she slept with my baby's father? At what point did you think that that was appropriate? Jackie, for future Jackie, reference, I'm not with Tyreek, and I don't need to know who he's been sleeping with or what's been happening. That wasn't I really what to I told her to share. I have a child with him, Good, and I'd so like to keep it cordial. with that. I didn't I don't, Tyreek. This, yeah, I, what, so I'm not the one that you're addressing your mother to me. No, I'm not angry. I'm not angry. I'm just telling you. You need to tell her. Because this is the mother of me. Not me. Now, I don't need to turn up that. Don't address me with your bullet. I'm not going to take that. I'm Friend when you were with Lee, right? I know I never oh, boyfriend. I yes made out with him when I was like no, 21. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. And you ratted me out. Honestly, she got up and I blacked the out. I don't know what happened till the end. I'm on the floor because Renee put their arms around me and throws me back. Drita jumps on top of me and she's pulling my hair. The same bitch that don't pull hair is pulling my hair. Like, if you're so tough, Drita, let me get the up and let me square up with you and we can fight each other fair. Drita, let go! I was in attack mode and it's hard for me to stop. I want to kill Drita at this point. Sarah, let her go. 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 Get her off. Hold on. Get her off. Let her go. Let her go. These two girls will go in for each other's jugular. No. Let her go. Let her go. Oh, kill me, my. No. Let her do something. I'll kill you, you mother. Bring it. I'll kill you, mother. Because no getting expensive in the world. I'll kill you, you mother. I'll keep coming for you, you dirty hoe! I will always I'll come for you. you! Bitch, you ain't... <laughs> how? You get the in my face? I was being respectful, you mother... Respectful? No, I'm bleeding. Go back to where the you came from, mother... No. Go back. Bring that bitch over here. Yeah. She's coming. <laughs> This is just really hard for me. Like, you know, I need to have this conversation with you. Last summer, Ryan opened up and said that, you know, I have, like, different feelings for you. We were seeing each other, and it was around the time that you guys were getting back together. 
I told him, like, look, don't put me in that situation if you guys are gonna get back together. So I completely distanced myself. We didn't even talk. So I'm in LA and he basically reached out, like, I wish I would have opened up sooner. And I basically shut it down, I'm like, Ryan, don't do that. Don't f this up. And then I come back to Chicago. We had this whole lake house trip. Drinks flowing. One thing led to another, and like we kind of like messed around. We hooked up. After that, like I felt really, really terrible after that. Ryan coming back, man. Mm -mm. I feel like I'm in the middle of a goddamn horror movie right now. Go down. I wanted to call you. It's just a death situation. Come here, look. What the is this? I was having a conversation that we've been needed to have. About what? About everything, about the truth, about what it is. OK, Ryan. what is it? Come on. We're not doing this. You? We're not doing this. Not doing no TV shit like that. What's up? We are the Brumfields from Black and Crew Chicago. And for more Black and Crew Chicago, please subscribe to the VH1 YouTube channel, baby. Let's get it.